And we are back with Scaping 9 till 5 Season 2. For those of you that don't know what Scaping 9 till 5 is, I take different types of money making methods in old school RuneScape and treat them as if they were a real life job for one day. I then take the result of said day to find out what the salary would be like both in RuneScape and in real life. Now Jagex, I don't actually real world trade the gold, it's just a hypothetical, a theoretical, it's just for the, the entertainment. So without further ado, let's go find a job. Ooh, man, being unemployed sucks. I can't be sleeping on a park bench forever. It's time to find some work. Oh, a newsstand. Let's see if there's a help wanted section. Varok gets a makeover. What? That was that's like 13 years ago. How is that news? Obituary. Varok guard. Okay, it's all pointless crap. Cold beer always in stock. Now that does sound pretty interesting. Is there anything below it? I need a help wanted section. I want. Is that Oziak? Help me slay wyverns. Recruiting combat effective adventurers slay white secret wyverns pays well so you don't pays well. That's all I need to know. Let's go speak to Oziak in Edgeville. Man, Edgeville is incredibly peaceful on quiet worlds. On a popular world or peaking world, it's absolutely jam-packed with skulls and spammers and bots and all that, but on a quiet world, this place is amazing. Oziak's house is up here in the corner. I've had to get a few jobs from him. He's never been too friendly towards me, or just anyone in general. He's a bit of a he's a bit of a recluse. Oziak! Go away. But I'm here for the job. Which job? The one from the the one from the newspaper. It said something about secret wyverns. Close the door. Listen here. You know about wyverns, right? Yeah, the skeleton ones that you do for Slayer. Yeah, well, there's more types of wyverns that some people don't know about. Those that do, can't care less. The ones on Fossil Island? Those things suck. I don't want to slay them for a job. Yeah, you're just like everyone else. Try fighting the bigger ones. The bigger ones? Yeah, there are a bunch of humongous ones at the back of the cave. They'll eventually drop something good. Really? Aren't they crap? Ah, well, that's what most people think. But they might be pretty profitable, and I want you to find out for me. Alright, okay. That sounds easy enough. Any advice before I go slay them? Take that. Take what? Take that thing on the table. What the? How did you... Where did you get this? I bought it from the GE, you numpty. I'll go and slay ancient wyverns with it. <laughs> That's my transition noise. <laughs> Before I get started fighting the ancient wyverns, there's some things I need to take care of in preparation for this 9 till 5. The first one being making ferocious gloves. And to do that, I've come here to Lithrican, this really cool looking area that was designed for Dragon Slayer 2. I've got Hydra Leather here in my inventory to make ferocious gloves which are better than Barrow's gloves for melee. Barrow's gloves are the best for general combat, it has good stats for range, mage and melee, and it also has defensive stats. The ferocious gloves made with the new Hydra leather are only good for melee, they provide no defensive stats, they provide negative attack stats for range and mage, but their melee stats are better than the Barrow's gloves, so let's use this here. Nothing interesting happens. Oh, I think it might be this one here. Use leather on machine. Turn into ferocious gloves. Here we go, we're about to be fully geared for ancient wyverns. Boom. We still have other things to take care of. You can see all this construction stuff in my inventory. I want to mount the dig site pendant in my player-owned house. It's a permanent dig site necklace that'll never go away once it's mounted. Exchange my runes, rubies and pendant for a medallion. Here we go. Level 82 construction for the dig site pendant and fortunately I am level 82 construction. Build, build, build. I thought to myself, while I'm here in construction mode doing up this portal nexus, I may as well go with the player owned house fashion scape, right? Build some curtains, opulent curtains, the best ones. Build, build, build. I may as well build the mounted Xerix talisman as well, alongside a rug, because why not? 
opulent rug. <laughs> this place is now kitted out. Well, this room looks pretty bad without the nexus there. It's just a cutout in the floor, okay. Slaying ancient wyverns from 9 till 5. Let's get started. I'm laying down a hell of a lot of damage with this Dragon Hunter Lance and the Ferocious Gloves, the whole melee, max melee setup. Except the fire cape, obviously. 50 death runes, that's a 12k drop, that's not bad. I've got some Numalite. I guess I should stock that stuff up, I think it's useful. And this is it. We've started, I just kill these wyverns, they deal a lot of damage, I can't really AFK it. They are the strongest wyvern, like a wyvern demi-boss, not a full-blown wyvern boss. But they're way more powerful than regular wyverns. And this is how I done them. Here is my gear and inventory setup. My gear is just the best melee gear I could possibly get, excluding the Serpentine Helm because it's not actually worth using. I'd made that mistake in the last 9 till 5, or the last combat 9 till 5, doing the drakes. And I used up a lot of scales which cost a lot of money, meaning less profit. The Net is Not Helmet is cheap and good enough to use. And I have the Dragon Hunter Lance, the best melee weapon to use against dragons, wyverns and all dragon-like creatures. For my inventor I have one super combat potion, two prayer potions, home teleport tabs to get in and out, and a ruin pouch to store the ruins that they drop, with the rest of the inventory being filled up with sharks. And the fastest way to bank and get back to the ancient wyverns is after each trip, pop a tab, use the rejuve pool to get your health, prayer and stamina back, head straight to the dig site via your dig site pendant in your player owned house, go to the dig site, not to Fossil Island, travel on the boat to the Fossil Island camp, use the bank there, deposit your loot, get your inventory set up back and then go straight to the cave which isn't too far away from the bank. I didn't do that for the majority of the time, I actually done a longer method of using the Castle Wars bank and then teleporting to Fossil Island and using the mushroom tree thing. It's not that big of a deal so it's not gonna influence the loot money making per hour too much but if you do do this yourself, keep that in mind, teleport to the dig site, not to Fossil Island. After running all the way back to the Ancient Wyverns, I usually just put on piety, I don't use protection prayers, pop a combat potion dose, and just wail away on the wyverns. A super handy quick tip for anyone who fights any type of wyvern, not just the ancient wyverns here, is that when they use their freeze attack on you and freeze you so you can't attack them, you can't really do anything, you can't move, you can still eat food. So ideally you don't actually want to eat any food until you're frozen because that way you lay down optimal DPS. Halfway into my very first trip, it's not looking uh, great. I'd only have a bunch of bones and some cheap crap. It's not actually fantastic loot right now. I got some adamant ore though, as I spoke, I got a decent drop. You seed? Okay, it's picking up. Onyx bolt tips. And again? What? It was almost back to back. There's a herb drop in between. Back to back. Back to back bolts. That time they were back to back. Guys, if you haven't bought a shirt yet, it's about time you do. <laughs> Every time I'm out of combat, let's say after I defeat this wyvern, this wyvern here that aggroed up towards these ancient wyverns because it chased me as I walked up here, will aggro onto me before these ones for whatever reason. So I will constantly keep getting attacked by these bloody orange wyverns before these wyverns here, and it's a pain in the ass. Look, it happened! It just I was picking up loot. I stood underneath this one that was attacking me, and it bloody spitting wyverns spit on me. Stop spitting on me, wyvern. Get out of here. Oh, a granite longsword. That's the very first kind of unique drop specific to these guys' drop table that I've got. I think maybe other monsters can drop it, but it's a pretty unique thing. First time getting a fancy item. It's only worth 100k though, sadly. We've actually almost finished this wyvern slaying shift. The time has passed fairly quickly because I'm actually not having a bad time. I'm quite enjoying fighting these things. It's not too difficult. The loot's okay, but before we finish, it is time to do the b -b 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 bonus facts. Did you know that the ancient wyverns use the three attack styles when using melee? Depending on the animation, they're slashing you when they use their talons, they're stabbing you when they jab with their tail, and they're crushing you when they bite. And originally their drop table was terrible. On the day Fossil Island came out and the ancient wyverns were released, their drop table was an abomination of crap worse than skeletal wyverns, about the same as the regular fossil island wyverns, but these were the boss guys, these were the hardest wyverns to slay, but they had the worst drop table, it made no sense, so the next day it was improved significantly. Their drop table was improved, but they were still really difficult to kill. Well, not difficult, just really annoying, they were really tanky, so four months later, in January of 2018, their defense level was lowered from 220 to 150, 70 defense levels, which changed their combat level from 227 to 
two ten. That's a lot of twos. And for whatever reason, in the trivia section on the wiki about ancient wyverns, they were like, oh, this there was twelve seaweed spores, and now there's twenty four. They dropped now twenty four instead of twelve. That's not really that interesting. Uh, wiki. I don't know why that's a trivia piece. It's boring. The wyvern caves, both the slur cave and the regular cave, are filled with references to dragonkin. There's shrines, there's symbols, there's corpses, all dragonkin related. And for those of you that don't know, the dragonkin are a type of, or a race of things that made the dragons. I think they made the dragons. Or did they just turn regular dragons into like better dragons? I don't know. This is the worst bonus facts segment. Ever. Maybe you just cut this out. Well, now that the disappointing bonus fact section is over and done with, it's time to wrap up this video. This is our final trip at the Ancient Wyverns, then we're gonna go find out how much money we have made. Here is the final loot tab. I've got the ruins in my inventory because I already have some in the bank, I don't want them to get mixed up. I have a 67k cash stack, 369 bones. I did bury like five or six of them, so that's more like 375 wyvern kills in total. I got some seeds, I got the granite sword, I got a bunch of volcanic ash, I got a bunch of herbs, potions, logs, alcabals, diamonds, a ruin square shield for some reason, 156 onyx bolts, an elite clue, and a bunch of other stuff. This is the final grand exchange window. We have made 7473k, 7.473 million GP. That's how much we've made in one day. I'm really happy with this number, but we haven't taken into account the cost of the supplies used, so let's buy back the supplies we used and find out the total profit. The total profit is 6.14 million GP. I'm still fairly happy with that. I was expecting the Ancient Wyverns to be worse because no one has anything good to say about them. No one really does them. After they had that release that was terrible and they had that high defense level for like four months, everyone stopped caring about them and no one really done them anymore. 6.14 million GP is my daily wage, which means my hourly wage, my hourly rate is 768k GP per hour. Times my daily wage times five from Monday to Friday, it's 31 million GP and each month there's an average of 22 working days which means I would make roughly 135 million a month. The yearly salary would be 1.6 billion GP before taking into account the chances of getting the rare drops. After taking rare drops into account it goes up to over 1.7 billion GP, 1771 million GP. Almost 1.8 bill, holy moly. Maybe I should just camp ancient wyverns for a while and make some money. Now it's time to convert these results into real life cash. Now remember Jagex, I'm not an evil man, I'm not I'm not scumbag, I don't real world trade, I don't do any dodgy stuff, I'm a nice, nice, nice human. But hypothetically, theoretically, the hourly rate would be 61 cents per hour, which means each day I would walk away with just under $5, and at the end of each working week, I would have earned just under $25. In my monthly payslip, I would take a look and see $108. And the yearly salary, the big boy, the one we've all been waiting for, $1,417. That's my yearly salary every 12 months. This is what I get. At the end of each year, doing nothing but ancient wyverns from 9 till 5, Monday till Friday, this is how much money you've earned. So where does this leave ancient wyverns on the leaderboard? Drum roll please. Da -da 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 -da. Second place under the brutal black dragons making 1.7 billion GP as the yearly salary. Thank you very much for watching this video ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you buy stuff. Buy support channel. Hey guys, thank you for watching that video. I really appreciate it. If you want to subscribe you can hit this profile picture icon here or just below the video you can hit subscribe there and make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. If you're interested in my most recent upload, there it is in the top right. And if you want to support the channel and get something out of it, there's a merch store. Buy some cool looking stuff.